All right, good morning. So we just made our way to Central PA, pretty much the middle of the state. Um, we're actually pretty close to uh, Altoona. The reason we're up here is we're gonna fish the Little Juniata River. Um, on my search for um, wild trout waters that I've never been to, I came across the Little Juniata as an excellent wild brown trout fishery. <clears throat> so we're going to the section near, I believe it's called Spruce Creek, um, near Roth Rock uh, State Forest. So um, we're on our way up there now. I think we're maybe 15, 20 minutes away. Um, so we're gonna throw our waders on. We're gonna try to catch some wild brown trout, hopefully see some neat wildlife, watch out for hunters. Uh, it's a super cold morning. We had a rain event, a big rain event. And what I mean by rain event is <clears throat> it like rained a lot, uh, like a day and a half ago. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be dirty or if it maybe cleared up since then and the water lowered either way we're gonna give it a try we're hitting the little juniata river we're in huntingdon county pa um we're gonna try to smack some hopefully big up to maybe 12 14 inch uh wild brown trout uh so let's see how it goes really nice up here cold morning but uh this should be great All right, so <clears throat> we finally found some access on the Little Junietta River. Um, there's a lot of private property, so it was actually tough to find a place, but we parked uh, kind of in this little town area, not even a town, like a little community. We found these railroad tracks, so we're following this down. The Little Juniata looks definitely high and definitely a little cloudy, but it's at least not mud brown. Um, and we drove all the way up here, so. Uh, we're gonna try to fish it. We just got to get to a place where we can access it as you can see It's like a straight sort of straight down Type of deal We just made our way down to a little side channel. The main river is way over there um, Really rough high water. I'm gonna have to be careful today, but we found this little side channel. So I'm gonna try to fish this a little bit uh, See my breath really cold this morning. But yeah, let's see what we can get got to the first hole we're gonna try to hit I wanted to show you this I'm using this new spinner that I've never used it's a Panther Martin kind of goldish number four it's a little bit bigger a little bit heavier it's got this little vibrating thing the tail is kind of reddish and goldish so to me this looks like a brown trout and because this water is bigger um, not over here but in general this water is bigger and it only supports brown trout I think this will be this will be what we're gonna throw today um, you know unless it doesn't unless it like doesn't work at all um but yeah so we're gonna try this guy just got to the first little hole here oh 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 that's a leaf dang it just got to this really flat glassy area i'm not sure if you can really see it on the GoPro, but really cool mist, steam, fog, right on the water. Um, water's really glassy um, for this whole stretch, really like the next 100 yards. So we just walked down, probably about a half mile, made our way through all that bush down to the river. Um, see a couple nice stretches here. I did see on the other side of the river, is a walking path. I think it's like the mid-state trail. So although it's incredibly deep here and not safe, if I find a place to cross, I think I want to get over there. <sighs> Just had a huge brown trout hooked. And as I was uh, as I was messing around with my GoPro, he plopped off right there. He was probably <sighs> it's probably like 16 inches. Monster, monster trout. So God duh. Yep, just missed a monster trout. I mean, that's good news because that's like the first significant bite I got. He hit literally like right here. Oh, I got the chills and everything. Man, he was big. I had him hooked for maybe five, six seconds. Uh, I put pressure up on him. Um, and as I was reaching my left hand around to turn on my GoPro to catch it on film, uh, he wouldn't you know it he plopped off so that's really unfortunate went this out got a nice uh, 40 ounce here whoo that brings me back to uh, days when I was a different man nice little 40 ounce there 
really nice um, stone masonry, old, old, but really sturdy and excellent looking uh, bridge. A train just crossed. We're gonna tr we're gonna quick safely cross to the other side because I cannot wade through this. Like I said, we already missed that uh, monster, monster brown trout, wild brown trout. So we're gonna keep going. Um, when I get to the other side, we'll see if we can smack some. Completely missed it, but don't care. Just got a nice, healthy, big wild brownie. Look at this guy. Dang, 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 dang. That's probably a good, probably a good 16 inches. Came onto the bridge. Damn, he is nice. For a wild brown trout in Pennsylvania, that's as, that's as good as you're gonna get out west. Dang, beautiful colors. We're gonna get this guy off. Hooked him right in the corner of the mouth. Really, really excellent, excellent catch if you ask me. So let's, let's take a look at this guy quick. Um, he is big, dang. All right, hold on, buddy, hold on. Wetting our hands, wetting our hands. Look at, look, look at, oh, oh, he plopped off, dang. All right, he plopped off. We're gonna get him back in the water. Just want to get a quick look at him here. Hold on, bud. Hold on. We'll get you. We got you. We got you. Hold on. Hold on. Look at this guy. Dang. Dang. This guy is big. He can barely fit in my hand. Mm -mm -mm. I never know where the camera's at, but dang. Get a little water on him. Look at this guy. Plump. Fat. Healthy. Excellent. Excellent brown trout. Very nice. We're going to get this guy right back in the water. One more time. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, he's he's back. He he flopped out. Excellent. Oh, the water's so cold. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Did not that on did not get that on camera fully, but now that I know they're here, I know they're biting. Let's uh let's get a couple more. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Love that Kanye feller. So we just got under another nice stone masonry bridge for a railroad. Really excellent looking bridge. Uh, the water looks really deep out here and like extremely promising for trout. Um, the sun's out, it's warming the water up. The water's still a little bit, uh, a little cloudy, sort of like a green cloudyish color, but at least it's not like brown murky, which is good. Just doing a little safe crossing here. A little safe crossing. Um, there's a nice hole. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Don't pop off. And he's another, he's another nice brownie. Another nice brownie. Got him right in the, uh, right in the rapids there. Mm, 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 mm. A little smaller than the last guy. Gonna wet our hands here. Still huge. I mean, look at this. Look at this guy. Look at this. Wow. Monster. Monster. Hold on, bud. Hold on. We're gonna get you off. Hold on. Hold on. All right, we got him off. We got him off already, so. Look at this guy. Mm -mm -mm. Very nice. I can never know where the camera's at, but that's a real nice trout. That's probably like 12 inches or so. So we're gonna get him, we're gonna get this guy right back in the water. Again, not sure where the camera's at, and he's gone. He gone, he gone. All right, so we're back out, back out to the main stem. Got that beautiful bridge right in front of us. Weather's really coming around today. Water's still a little dirty, um, but we're doing okay. We're doing just fine. Um, See, so yeah, really, I'm gonna work my way up to this bridge, see if there's any lunkers in here. Like I said, I, I feel like if there was any bigger, older trout, they'd kind of be hanging right around this kind of water. Um, but we're gonna work our way up toward the bridge, um, probably go under, around, whatever, uh, go up a little bit more, maybe a couple hundred more yards. See if we can smack one or two more. Just got another guy. Just got another guy. Dang, these are all uniformly like huge trout. Holy crap. Like, I haven't caught a trout that's like under 10 inches yet. And I literally just turned off the camera. Gosh darn it. Keep not catching these on film. But, yeah, nice, nice brownie. 
nice brownie. We're gonna get a little pick of him in our hands. We're gonna get him off of here. Oh, wet in our hands right here. Dang, these guys are just so big. Holy crap. Beautiful reds, look at this. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Beautiful reds. Beautiful, beautiful, healthy Pennsylvanian stream bred wild trout. So we're gonna get this guy off. Dang, he's decent. We're gonna get this guy off and we're gonna keep fishing. So we're working our way away from that beautiful bridge where we caught a couple brownies. This is some of the more shallow water I've seen, although it's not that shallow, and it's moving, uh, it's moving kind of fast. Um, I think I see what is the mid pen or mid mid state, sorry, mid state trail. Um, up, whoa, up a little bit from me. Uh, so water's moving a little too fast for my liking here. Um, but, uh, get to this spot. Yeah, so we're basically trying to, no, fuck. We're basically trying to make our way, um, over there, and then we're going to get up on the Mid-Pen Trail, Mid-State Trail, fish a little more, and then probably, uh, probably head on out. Oh, cross to the other side, casting out, looking for some trout. I think I need to find some deeper, deeper, slower moving water. We'll see. Cast out here, one time. Oh, got him, got him, got him. Oh, got him, dang, he's big. Got him. Oh, dang, he's big. Don't get off, don't get off. And he's probably the biggest guy today. Dang, dang, he is, he is big. Look at how much he's pulling down on my, on my rod. Holy shit. Dang, dang, look at this guy. Oh my gosh. Monster wild brownie, monster. I wanna show you this guy in my hand. Holy crap, holy crap. We're gonna get him off here soon, but dang. Wow, look at this guy. Monster, probably easy. Easy 16 incher, easy. Never know where the camera's at, but that that's 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 what you want right there. That's a that's a big monster right there. Mm -mm -mm. Let's get him a little closer. Not amazing colors because he's bigger, but dang, monster, monster. Show him up close real quick. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, we're gonna get this big guy off of here. Just got that really big guy, biggest of the day. Um, I think we're going to fish maybe another 10, 15, 20 minutes, and then probably call it a day. All right, so we followed the uh, mid-state trail back about probably like two miles, maybe. Um, we just waded across, soaking wet. I mean, I have waders on, but you know what I mean. Um, waded across the river and a shallow, semi-shallow point. Um, we're back to this first little side channel we started at. Uh, so overall in the day, we got um, four really nice wild brown trout here on the um, Little Juniata River, the Little J. Um, probably like anywhere from, I'd say 11 to, there's my footprint from earlier, that's cool. Um, probably like 11 to 17 inches, um, really excellent day fishing. Uh, weather actually turned out pretty decent, it's pretty nice now. Um, so I think that's all we're gonna get for right now. Uh, thank you for watching, Ugh. thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll get some more fish next time.